In order to make a Sonic Chow, you will need to make what is called a Neutral Run Run Chow. For this video, I'll use a regular two-tone chow, like the ones you start each garden with, but any chow of any color will work as long as it hasn't evolved yet. To make a chow look like Sonic, you will need to prioritize raising its run stat a lot more than the others. You can use green chaos drives from defeating enemies or running type animals, which are the ones shown on screen with a green background. The tricky part will be keeping your chow in neutral alignment. This means that you'll have to raise it using both hero and dark characters equally. If you use hero characters too much, you'll notice that the chow will start to turn white and gain these two small flaps on the top of its head. This means that the chow is starting to align to be a hero chow, which is not what we want. So in this case, start using dark characters to raise the chow. But if you use them too much, the chow will start to turn black and its wings will start to look like demon wings. In this case, start using hero characters again to bring it back to neutral. And if you're using a monotone chow or a chow that's different colored than the one you see on the video, just keep an eye out for both the flaps and the demon wings. Make sure they're both not there. Give it a while and your chow will eventually evolve into a neutral run chow. The chow isn't entirely going to look like Sonic right off the bat, but just keep raising its run stat. A chow's second evolution is more of a gradual transformation. The chow does not go back into its cocoon. Eventually, you'll start to notice its spikes bend downward, and if you use a regular two-tone chow like I did, you'll start to see it turn blue. And there you go, you now have a Sonic chow. Of course, there are many different color combinations you can do this with, so experiment around and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite.